Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about laundry room, my laundry room routine, but first, with any good laundry room routine, you need a laundry room that is functional and organized. So I'm gonna show you guys what I have going on in my laundry room. Sorry for the light, it's just very yellow in here. But. So, um, I don't have a ton of stuff organized in my laundry room. I like it to be clear space, clear mind. I don't like it too cluttered. So in my laundry area, I just have the factory, um, you know, when they're building homes, the standard rack that they always have, they put in every closet or organizational space. I have that standard rack still in here. On it, I decided to utilize it and I put these hangers. On the hangers, I will hang up any of my daughter's tutu items, um, just clothes that shouldn't go in the dryer, I will hang on there. Um, if we go up, I have a whole bucket of extra laundry cleaning supplies. In here, I also have the extra uh, microfiber cloth. I have the laundry detergent toilet tissue, paper towel, and then this back here just stores extra, extra um, cleaning supplies. This used to be my dog's clothes, yes, but my dog passed last year, yes, my dog had a ton of clothes, but they used to be in here, but now it's just um, for storage. My washer and dryer are Maytag, and I absolutely love them. Um, but we got them with the extra storage underneath. And I'll show you too what's over here. We just have a, a ladder, Brooklyn's broom and little sweeper are stored here as well. And then we have a garbage bin and that is for the lint that comes out of the dryer. So anyways, we brought these with the storage bins underneath. It is an extra cost. I think it's kind of steep. It's like an extra $200. But I like it because they are height level. And then my um, laundry basket, which is on wheels, can just slide underneath. And it's just easy for me. So in here, this one, we just store um, towels. And then in this, in the washing machine one, we store um, extra Kleenex, paper towels, all of that stuff. And then this is special cleaner to clean our microfiber cloths. It helps them last longer and just um, keeps them in better shape. So that's the laundry detergent for that. But like I said, they are pretty steep. They're about an extra $200 to $250 to get those, but I just wanted my washer and dryer to be at stand up height, I guess you would say. So that's why we purchased them. Um, I love, love, love my washer and dryer. Like I said, they're Maytag and they work great. We've been in our house, this will be two years and um, they're doing great. And then I just have a little vignette set up over there. I also have a um, laundry basket and that is on wheels. I don't have individual baskets. Each room has their laundry baskets. And then I usually sort the clothes upstairs, put them in here by color, and then bring them downstairs. I have this little map here, and this is from Aldi, and I absolutely love it. This is laundry, good, clean, fun. I would love to shiplap this wall, but these are gas and there's like pipes and stuff in the wall, so I'm scared. So I made you wallpaper. Um, also in our laundry area, which is pretty big, I have um, my mop, but I have this O cedar mop. I have my mop and my broom hanging up. And I just have them hanging up with um, command, those command hook, these doors are hollow, and I know a lot of people in their homes, their doors are hollow, so I would not be drilling holes in there. So my doors, since they're hollow, I use command hooks, and it's those special ones, and it holds my, they work like this, and you just push that in, like that, and it's easy breezy. And the door closes, or opens perfectly fine. So. 
Um, now we're gonna head upstairs that I gave you my laundry room tutorial and I will show you how I fold the items that are up there. So guys, in my house, laundry is not done every day. So that hasn't changed from my routine, but I mixed it up a little bit and I started to not really do laundry during the week. I'm just tired and I work five days a week and when I get home, I wanna spend that time with my kiddos. So what I do do is on Friday, I will start, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I do not wash or fold or anything like that, any laundry. And then Friday, I started doing one load when I got home from work. Fridays are a little bit more relaxed. Usually we stay up a little bit later to do our Friday family movie night. So I get one load of laundry washed and dried. Typically, I don't get it put away. When I wake up the next morning on that Saturday, I usually wake up really early, earlier than everybody else in my house. So I will get that load of laundry um, put away and then I will put another load in. Um, I found this way too. I was doing laundry every other day and I felt like I was doing a bunch of small loads and just being wasteful. So by me holding off till Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I feel like the loads are more substantial and I'm getting, even, even though I have energy efficient washer and dryers, I feel like I'm getting the most bang for my buck. I'm just not wasting water and wasting, just wait, just being wasteful. So Friday, I do one load. I've been doing one load. I put it away Saturday morning. And Saturday, I will typically try to do two loads. And then I will, I'll do two loads of laundry. And then Sunday, save a load for Sunday. Those four loads will typically, and I do large loads. As you can see, as you saw earlier, my washer and dryer are pretty big. So I can get everything done. If it's once a month, which is maybe you guys think it's gross, but that's usually when I do bedding. I usually wash that once a month for my children and myself. And then our towels and stuff, I just throw those in with the regular laundry. So if our towels are typically white, so they go in with the white load and towels I wash every week and I put out new ones every week. Um, towels and hand towels and all that kind of stuff but bedding and that kind of stuff I really only do it once a month and that's kind of a special wash so maybe on Saturday I would do three loads instead of two but typically just doing four loads of laundry and they're pretty big loads for a family of four that gets us pretty set, set up pretty well for the next week ahead so I'm gonna show you guys how I fold and this is what I taught my children and my husband as well. And I don't really fold, I we roll. So I'll sh give you guys a up close and personal of my rolling technique, but that will be it. Everything wrapped up, my laundry routine, how I fold, how I get the laundry for the most part, part all done as a working mom and how I get us set up for a success for each of you. And my rolling routine is pretty easy. Anybody can do this, but I just make sure with my daughter's stuff, I will place the matching sets together. So if it's like a pajama set, and I will make sure the pattern is facing on the outside so you don't need to unroll it to see what it is. For grown-ups and teenagers, which my son is, uh, me, my husband, and my son, I will roll our things individually. And then for socks, I will do all of the matches, but items that do not have a match, they will go in this little sock bin, which goes in my closet. When I do another load or all the loads for the week, whatever is left over, if I can't find it after a few weeks of washing, maybe it got stuffed in the couch or something like that, then those get discarded. But this rolling technique has really worked for us. Just make sure your pattern is on the outside of the roll. If you have jeans and they're ripped, make sure the rip part is on the outside so you can identify them easily. But this has worked for me and my family as a working mom. And that is it, folks. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.